Hello everyone! In this video, we will discuss the complement system. What are complement factors, how they work, and what are their functions? Complement factors are heat labile proteins synthesized in liver, present in all body fluids except the cerebrospinal fluid and urine, and they work in cascade manner, as you will see, through three different pathways. Let's start with the classical pathway. The trigger is attachment between immunoglobulin G or immunoglobulin M to an antigen. This binding will activate complement factor 1, which is present in serum, or C1. C1 will divide C4 into C4A and C4B, and it divides C2 into C2A and C2B. We don't need those smaller C2A and C4A, however, C4B and C2B will unite together to form a new enzyme called C3 convertase. C3 convertase will hydrolyze C3 into C3A and C3B. C3B will attach to the surface of the antigen and antibody that started the whole process. And this attachment will divide C5 into C5A and C5B. C5B will attach to C6, then C7, C8, and C9, forming the membrane attack complex, or MAC. This membrane attack complex attaches to the organism surface, forming pores, and through these pores the fluid enters the cell, causing osmotic lysis. The second pathway is the lactin pathway, that differs only in the trigger. The trigger here is an organism carrying mannose on his wall. A compound in serum called the mannose binding lactin binds to this organism. This attachment process stimulates hydrolysis of C4 and C2 into C4A and C4B and C2A and C2B and then C4B and C2B form the T3 convertase. C3 convertase divides C3 into C3A and C3B. C3B attaches to the surface of the bacteria carrying mannose, and this stimulates dividing C5 into C5A and C5B. C5B attaches to C6, C7, C8, and C9 to form the membrane attack complex, and this membrane attack complex attaches to the surface of the bacteria carrying mannose, forming pores in its wall. Fluid enters inside the bacteria, causing osmotic lysis. The last pathway, or the alternative one, in which the trigger is either a bacteria carrying endotoxin or a fungus carrying zymosan. C3 is present normally in serum and spontaneously divides into C3A and C3B. C3B in serum becomes attached to a bacteria carrying endotoxin or to a fungus carrying zymosan. Factor B then comes and becomes attached to them and this complex is considered the C3 convertase of the alternative pathway that stimulates more C3 hydrolysis. Another two factors, factor D and the properdine, help the stabilization of this complex. More C3B then becomes attached to organisms stimulating C5 hydrolysis into C5A and C5B. C5B attaches to C6, C7, C8, and C9, forming a membrane attack complex that attaches to the surface of the bacteria carrying into toxin, forming pores in its wall, and the fluid then enters into the bacteria, causing osmotic lysis, and this is the end. Now, what are the differences between the three pathways? The trigger for the classical pathway is antigen-antibody complex while for the lactin pathway is binding of a bacteria carrying mannose to mannose binding lactin in serum. And for the alternative pathway, the trigger is attachment of C3B in serum to a bacterial endotoxin or fungal zymosan. So the classical pathway is considered a part of the acquired immunity, being triggered by antigen-antibody reaction, while the two other pathways are considered a part of the innate immune response. The sequence of activation in the classical pathway is C1, then 4 and 2, then 3, then 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. In the lactin pathway, no C1, so the sequence is C4 and 2, then 3, then 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. 
While in the alternative pathway, there is no need for C1 or C2 or C4, so the sequence is C3, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. The alternative pathway needs three factors, factor B, factor D, and property. What are the functions of the complement system? First, cytolysis of organisms through membrane attack complex. Opsonization, as there are C3B receptors for C3B on surfaces of phagocytic cells. Immune complex clearance, C3B attached to an antigen antibody complex, go and attaches to a red blood cell through C3B receptor on the RBC surface. This complex then goes to spleen where phagocytes are abundant, clearing this complex from the circulation. Lastly, do you remember the small molecules C3A and C5A? They are called anaphylatoxins as they mediate anaphylactic reactions, stimulating chemotaxis of phagocytes and the degranulation of basophils. Lastly, we have a regulatory compound in serum called the C1 inhibitor that help regulating the complement system effects. Thank you for watching us and say goodbye to complement family.